Welcome to the Born on This Day channel, where we highlight the lives and abilities of extraordinary people born on a specific day. Today, we'll look at the extraordinary life of Queen Victoria, one of the most powerful queens in British history. She was born on May 24, 1819, in Kensington Palace, London, and her reign was marked by tremendous change and growth. Queen Victoria was born to Prince Edward, Duke of Kent and Strathen, and Princess Victoria of Saxe Coburg Salfeld, the Duke and Duchess only child, and became fifth in line to the throne. Her full name was Alexandrina Victoria. Queen Victoria rose to the throne on June 20, 1837, at the age of 18, following the death of her uncle, King William IV. Her coronation occurred on June 28, 1838, and marked the start of her 63 year reign, the second longest in British history. During Queen Victoria's early reign, she implemented substantial political and social changes, notably the Poor Law Amendment Act of 1834, which attempted to improve the living conditions of the poor in Britain, with Prime Minister Lord Melbourne serving as her trusted advisor. On February 10, 1840, Queen Victoria married her first cousin, Prince Albert of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha. Their marriage was both emotional and political, with nine offspring who married into various European royal families garnering her the epithet Grandmother of Europe. Queen Victoria and Albert hosted the Great Exhibition in London in 1851, which showcased global industrial and cultural achievements. Over six million people attended the Crystal Palace Exhibition, which emphasized Britain's industrial might. Under Queen Victoria's reign, the British Empire grew dramatically. By the conclusion of her reign, the empire had expanded into large areas in Africa, Asia, the Americas, and the Pacific, establishing Britain as the world's leading global power. Queen Victoria's era was synonymous with the Industrial Revolution. The period saw significant advancements in technology, transportation, and industry. Railways, steamships, and telegraphs transformed the way people lived and worked. Queen Victoria's reign also saw significant social improvements. The Factory Act of 1844 improved working conditions for factory workers, especially women and children. The Public Health Act of 1848 sought to eliminate urban filth and sickness. The death of Prince Albert on December 14, 1861, was a devastating blow to Queen Victoria. She went into great grief, wearing black for the remainder of her life and withdrew from public obligations for many years. Despite her seclusion, she remained influential in state matters. Queen Victoria's popularity soared during her later reign. She became known as the Widow of Windsor and accepted her status as a symbol of British imperial supremacy. In 1877, she received the title of Empress of India. Queen Victoria commemorated her Golden Jubilee in 1887 and Diamond Jubilee in 1897. These celebrations commemorated 50 and 60 years of her reign, respectively, and were marked with considerable pomp and public adoration, demonstrating the stability and power of her leadership. The Irish question and the growth of the labor movement were among the key political issues that Queen Victoria confronted throughout her reign. She handled issues with a mix of firmness and adaptation, ensuring the monarchy's relevance in a changing political scene. Queen Victoria was a prolific diarist who wrote extensively during her life. Her notebooks contain thorough accounts of her rule and personal ideas. She also enjoyed painting, music, and Highland culture, and she spent a lot of time at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. Queen Victoria died on January 22, 1901, at the age of 81. Her death heralded the end of the Victorian era, which was defined by economic growth, cultural development, and the expansion of the British Empire. She was followed by her son, Edward VII. Thank you for joining us while we explored. Queen Victoria's life and legacy are still relevant today, thanks to her tremendous influence on British culture, the growth of the British Empire, and her role in defining contemporary monarchy. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for more intriguing stories about extraordinary people born on this day.